Hey guys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play some uh, The Witch in a Hundred Night. Um, yeah, Leah might be breaking it somehow. Oh no, Metalia! How she's reproducing? I don't know. Metalia vomits a thick brown pool of half-digested chocolate all over the floor. Oh, we got these from the Korrigan. Did they give her, like, some weird, like, baby chocolate? Chapter 3, Act 1, done. Oh, God. 92 days till her demise. with a stomach ache, and as it progresses, spotty bruises spread all over and you die. I already knew that! This pain is different. I... I know this pain! This might be... Lord pepto -Biz. What? pepto -Biz. <laughs> like pepto <laughs> Wow, really? That's what you was it with his name is. It hasn't been here in ages, so I thought it went somewhere really far away. Lord Peptobiz? Who's that? I don't get it, but are you okay? Lord Peptobiz is a god that appears out of the forest depths whenever Master Leah does something bad. Symptoms include a circus of stomach aches, headaches, back aches, dizziness, diarrhea, pain, suffering, and vomiting. Scary, you know. <laughs> That's an old fairy tale people told to get their kids to behave. Talia, you believe that old superstition? S superstition? Honestly, if we ignore your usual behavior, you have a really cute side too, huh? This is why ignorant dogs. Damn heads out high. <laughs> Lord Peptobis was written in. Great witch Urtica's witch doctrine. A witch specific book that. Okay, okay, I get it. Don't speak. Save your strength. I shouldn't have laughed at you. But still, can't you use your magic or something to create an antidote for your stomach ache? Biz or whatever aside, isn't this a chance to show off how amazing your magic is? S stupid! Are you trying to get us all killed? Not calling it Lord. O Ouch! Also, Lord Peptobiz is immune to all witch magic. On top of that, the symptoms will only worsen. Yes. What kind of 
god is this Pepto-Biz? Uh, no, Lord Pepto-Biz. You're starting to creep me out. This isn't contagious, is it? <laughs> Don't worry. Lord Pepto-Biz would never waste its time on a non-magic user. Never at a loss for words, are you? The Hunja Knight gets dizzy for a second due to the unstable flux of magic power in the area. I must admit that I have never seen symptoms as bad as this. What'll happen if you don't get better? You won't die, will you? Previously, after a few days, she would heal right up, almost as if she was faking, uh, never sick. Suffering like this is indeed a first. Yes. Wait, is your hair a little darker than usual right now? Is it? Her hair looks the same as ever to me, but. Hair is influenced by magic and responds accordingly. I'm sure my shitty condition is to blame for any color change you see. <sighs> It is possible that Master Leah's magic powers have been drained. It may prove challenging to tough it out for several days. How can you be so calm about it? She's suffering a great deal. Isn't there something we can do? As a matter of fact, I have nothing to suggest, yes. But in the Western Mountain Valley, I do recall that a shaman lives there who specializes in exorcisms. Huh? Where'd you learn that? I overheard some birds having a conversation deep in the mountains the other day. You heard birds talking? Are you serious? I mean, you always lie with such a straight face, so... I've heard a similar rumor from a witchcraft professor before. In the Forbidden Lands, there's someone who cures witches for a living. Shun. Better not be another witch. If another witch sees me like this, I'd rather just die. Ow, ow, ow. At this rate, you probably will. <laughs> No further information regarding the shaman. It could be a witch, something else, or perhaps not even a human. Anything is possible. Yeah. Jeez. Useless. Well, well, whatever. It's a side job while we make the pillars bloom. Got that, Hundred Knight? Release the pillars, find the shaman, and get me some medicine. Gosh, I gotta do all this now? Why can't they do it? Head to the... What? Ravine? <laughs> <laughs> you look so apathetic. But you realize I don't know what'll happen to you if I die, right? My magic and your existence are linked. My death might nullify the contract. Or you might die with me. <laughs> Hunter Knight grows dizzy again due to the unstable magic in the air. This is getting dangerous. Enough talking. <laughs> Arlecchino, bring me a hand, would you? Hunter Knight is losing bed, his mind. With Master Leah in this condition, it will be difficult to use certain things and guide Sir Hunter Knight. We have to let her do it. And there's no choice, but I can't help but grit my teeth when talking to her. Arlecchino, call for Mani. Mani? Who's Mani? But it is impossible to know where Master Mani could be. <laughs> She's close, trust me. Her hearing surprises even me. Master Mani? Who is it this time? 
Master Mani is a rogue fairy. Her outrageousness is comparable to Master Leah. One would doubt she is truly a fairy, because she is such a punk. Er, such a grand creature, yes. This is a little sassy fairy. Your eyes are really squinty. No, maybe your personality got worse. Burn. Anyway, what Jeez. happened? Master Moni, it is not her eyes that have gone bad or her personality. It is her health, yes. Uh-huh. Isn't that what I said? Well, whatever. I was just imitating you, Arlie. I am extremely <laughs> humbled. Say whatever you want. Aw, don't get mad at me, Leah. I get the picture. You need me to navigate this thingy, right? Yeah. Guide the Hundred Knight to the Shaman or whatever. And get me some damn medicine. Uh-oh. This is serious business. You should get some rest. It's a promise between you and me. Don't worry. Just leave it to your best fairy pal, Money. It's a promise. Metalia falls unconscious from the unrelenting pain. Metalia! Hundred Knight! I'm sorry, but I must stay here and watch over Metalia. Even though she is who she is, I can't leave her alone when she's suffering so much. Thank you for your concern, Master Visco. Just Visco is fine, Rick. I see. Then please refer to me as Butler <laughs> Lord uh, Arlecchino. <laughs> Let us away to the second floor. Butler Lord Arlecchino. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> Man, he's totally checking out the Hundred Knight. Hey! Are you really the legendary Hundred Knight? Uh, whatever. Okay, I have to get ready, so we'll chat later. Mm, honey Knight? I feel like I'm gonna get really irritated by her really quickly. Act two. Act two, chapter four. The witch. Chapter four. Ravine. Okay. A moment, Sir Hundred Knight. I have a message from Lady Mani. The shaman lives on the west side of Yaptolaka Ravine. Getting there will require some specific directions. You must use a pathway deep in the forest known as Butterfly Road. I recommend beginning your search in that place. And here is a letter containing Master Leah's symptoms and an antidote request. Please give this to the shaman. Please be careful that you do not trip and fall out and fall out there, Sir Hundred Knight. That was nice of him. Our Lachino's been kind of a butt for the most part. So it's kinda nice that he just, you know, trying to worry about me a little bit. Let's put on that new facet, because I totally forgot about it till now. Uh, we got the marginal gaze facet. Strong against magic, has staff and spear skills, but low defense. So, we're gonna set this as a sub as well. I probably will never use it, but it's there. 
Alright. Let's go. Let's do this. So we gotta go from the Woods Forest. And then they said like to the west, right, from here to get to Butterfly Road. And then from there I try and make it. We gotta save our master. Well, more like we gotta save our life, because if she dies, we're screwed. Testing, testing. Loud and clear, Monty. So, as we decided earlier, I'm gonna navigate you today. It won't be the same experience as when Leah guides you, but be happy you have a navigator at all. First stop, find Butterfly Road. Otherwise, you can't get to your clapper. I mean, get to <laughs> your clapper. Butterfly Road is said to be deep in the forest, but I don't know where it is specifically. Oh yeah, let me tell you my motto. Pounce and crash, burn the world! Don't you forget it. Okay, let's search every inch of this silly place. Let's do it. Luckily, we conveniently have a marker there that's, that, that, that would tell me where I have to go. Ba 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 I meant to do. That. Go away. Alright. So there's Butterfly Road. Oh my, what a rare sight to see here. Are you looking to take a ride on Butterfly Road by chance? I am. Butterfly Road is the road to the sky. The biggest of ravines can be traversed with no problem. But do you have butterfly powder? And of course, smoking a tobacco pipe on the road is not allowed. Uh, I have symptom notes. Oh my, that isn't what butterfly powder looks like at all. So sorry, but you won't be able to travel Butterfly Road with that. The Kuragan are sometimes seen carrying butterfly powder. Sometimes it's not. Rumors are fun. Uh, maybe they'll share some with you. Oh, really? Why didn't they tell me that before? Alright, so I gotta go back toward where uh, the Duchess's domain is and try and get some butterfly powder. Does this mean I gotta kill some Corrigan? Or like, do I have to raid their houses? Are they even gonna be there still? They should, right? They own the place now. Okay, so it's a scene here. I thought that they just wanted me to come here. Like, and I had to find it myself, but there is a scene here.
Wee, please take this. Why, wow, you're so evil. Oh, you're that thing from that one time. <laughs> you want this? Butterfly powder. Can be used for this sort of thing, or that sort of thing, or anything. We collect a lot, so we have a lot just sitting around. Even though we're in your debt, we can't give any to you for free. It's a little expensive, but we sell it at our general store. Buy stuff from us. We. Hmm, that's kind of suspicious, but I won't say anything. Aren't I so mature? I'm so great. The Koranga the Koragon use this item daily, but... Hmm, hey, Honey Knight. What would you do in this situation? I want to see what you decide. What do you mean, what would I do? Why are they following me? Oh my god, they're evil! What? Okay. Well, thank you. I would have brought it from you, but they just started wanting to attack me. That's that's great. Oh, is this a store? Okay. I'm s well, they should never attack me then. You know? I didn't even know there would be a store in this game, right? Because we haven't found one for quite a while. Uh, how do I... Is there a confirm? Bulk? Oh, that's to buy everything that they have. Why not? I could use the weed gum. Uh, buy. Alright, we gotta get out of here. That was strictly self-defense. That doesn't count as me killing any Korrigan still. <laughs> they attacked first, so I retaliated. Oh. All right. Let's continue on. Now let's see if we can ride the butterfly road, which I feel like th that was a little pointless uh, of a detour, but okay game, no problems there. Let me ride this butterfly road. Oh my, what a rare sight to see you here. Yes, I want to ride the butterfly road. I do, in fact, have the problem. Oh my, you have the powder. Pardon me for doubting you. I feel a good breeze coming. Fortune seems to be smiling on you. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Now over here, sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, have a safe trip. Nope, oh. quest clear. Now let's see where we get taken. Oh, all the way over toward Yaptolaka. We're on the right track. We're making headway.
Of Chalaka Ravine. People say it's a forbidden land and nobody dares to go near it. <laughs> How exciting, honey knight. A forbidden land. What kind of danger is waiting for us here? We're gonna find out. For instance, there's apparently this thing. And this thing. Converted eggs. Um. Oh. My bad. Tochka. Loving the music. Dun, da, 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 ba, 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 what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Do we got? Give me something good. Spiritual hammer five? No, four. I think that's what that is, right? Interesting. I don't really like to use the hammer weapons, but I mean, I'll take a strong hammer. Is this guide guide mark maybe guiding mark a mark you know a marker you know what I mean I'm saying words I'm saying too many words I'm sorry <laughs> let's just keep going let's traverse this place um, everything's level 16 so I'm not really gonna fight if I can afford it right now um, I'll do my grinding off screen if need be oh one of these things okay well, speaking of which, then we're gonna need a, ha a hammer attack to throw out there. Um, Lude pain hammer, for instance. Double hammer smash. No, you ain't going nowhere. Ooh, that's all it took off of him? That makes me sad. Don't I have a bunch of hammers here? Yeah, I do. It needs to be just basically a blunt weapon, so... We'll throw some of these on here. Gorgeous hammer. that down there and that does that and gets me in there now how do I get up there though is the question I guess I could I'd have to maybe go around so it looks like it's pointing at Yeah, 
Love the experience you get here, I gotta say. Not bad at all. Ooh, what is that? A lot of puzzle-like things in this area. Really confused about what things do, but... We'll find stuff. We'll, we'll do something. Pillar and return to base. All right, um, actually, you know what? I want to probably try and level up some of our weapons that we just recently acquired. A little bit, at least. Get some strength into them. That's all I can do. I'll take it. It'll work for now. <sighs> Let's keep on going. Okay, this is this is a tip that I wanted to find out. So when they're past that point, R1 and triangle, and I can get myself some Giga Cows back. Got it. I understand. Maybe we'll give it a test test try as well. What are these? I feel like there's something special about them. Now consume enemies by consuming enemies you can replenish gig accounts. Once their life is lowered to 20%, you can consume them. Lock on with R1 and press triangle. Additionally, you can gain bonuses by repeatedly pressing triangle. Okay. Cool. And now he's in my stomach, isn't he? Oh no, he's not. I thought he'd be. Okay. Well, yeah, that that works wonders. So, because I, I was panicked in, in what's her name's place, uh, the Duchess is about that. But now that's gonna help a lot. Oh, come on, get up, get up, get up, get up! I'm really, just wasting time here.
Chomp him, chomp him, chomp him, chomp him, chomp him, chomp him. Oh my. Keep going. Whoa, big, big caterpillar. Oh God. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm busy here. Give me your loot. We got ourselves found a mysterious dark fragment. This feels somewhat nostalgic. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Oh. Ooh, we got a Tochka. Type 10 Diablo. I'm gonna be doing this a lot now. Keep my, my Giga Cows nice and raised. See, but what I'm trying to figure out is, does this take a... Oh, it does. These these things are them, isn't it? Garbage. Why do you eat garbage, Hundred, hundred Knight? I think it does. I think the monsters are, gar are the garbage. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Garbage is being added to my stomach stock. So I can do it just as many spaces that I have full, uh, allowed to do so. So I gotta be careful when I'm eating people. <laughs> Door. Okay. Uh. I swear, those things are all over the place. There's got to be something to them. Where are... Like, how's the map looking? Oh, God. That's too far of a zoom out. Um... Let's keep going. find a switch. There's gotta be a switch somewhere. I can get that door open. Oh, this is the leaf. Which we don't really want to do, but you know what? I might as well do it now. So I can dump his stomach stock since we're here. Stomach stock's d dumped, right? Yeah. I don't understand how we get up there. That's where I want to go. But we need something to get on to get up to that rock. I did get that new Tochka. What does that do? Oh. Okay. Interesting. And there's a pillar here. Let's let's continue looking around this section. No, wait, no, not not here.
Like this way, maybe? Oh god, I walked right back into that. I was stupid. Right. Ooh, there's one there. I see it. Right. Oh, I just screwed up. I just screwed up. I just screwed up. It's gonna consume my... Oh, I just screwed that up. I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. Can this mode go off? Please go off. Please go off. Like, it's, it's cool and all, but please go off. I don't need this mode. Ah. I screwed up. I screwed up so badly. Just lose the mode. Come on, 100 Knight. Is it gone? No. Does this literally just keep going until I'm out? That's not fun. Oh, pillar, pillar. Break it, break it. Break it. Turn the base. I did not mean to do that. I hate when I do that. Ugh. I have a hard time remembering the, the, the button pushes for this. Also, really lucky that I found that, uh, that, that Tochka, I gotta say, so I can have something that I, could, I can shoot range at these things. Pretty nifty. <laughs> I don't know if that's, that, like, that was planned to be found there to use it there, or, like, how, what, what other means you could, I guess you could use the staff. The staff, yeah, would probably be the other way. But yeah, I um, seems more fitting that you find a new Tochka and then use that. Keep going. Jeez, I'm getting murdered here. Way too many things. Go away. Alright, so, um... He's got more weed gum. Bloody sword. 
I'll take one at least. I could also use the antidotes. Um, nope. Antidote, bloody sword. Purchase. Convert. Right. Come on, I was not ready. And I'm getting hit by things. Can you not right now? Alright, we're almost there. What's this? and an evil god. The battle lasted hundreds of days and a whole bunch of witches died. Because the witches weren't crazy powerful, but the evil god was, it was a losing battle for a long time. But in the middle of the fight, one of the witches just happened to recreate a forgotten spell. It was forgotten because it was forbidden. It let the witches gain a strong enough form to fight the evil god. The witches obtained great powers, even though the spell transformed their bodies into something grotesque. The fight continued and eventually the witches defeated the evil god. But the fell god spread disaster across the world. Many more witches died, and the disaster caused many people to suffer. Well, it went something like that. It's an old story, so we don't really know if it's a fairy tale or part of our history. So what do you think, Honey Knight? I guess you wouldn't know how to respond even if I ask, huh? And what you see here are the fossilized remains of one such. So she was a giant? That spell has since been hmm. lost again. But whatever it was. So, anyway, there are lots of weird rumors about these ruins. But there's no way those are gonna come to life. So don't worry. Let's keep moving, Honey Knight. Interesting. Indeed. I eat a couple monsters coming up. Like you. ourselves a pillar. I had to eat at least one of them. <laughs> They're stalking me there. Alright. Let's keep going. Excuse me. Feel an eerie, ghastly glare from somewhere. From somewhere, it is quite intense. The witch, maybe, or whoever it is we're looking for that's supposed to heal. Leah. What's up, Honey Knight? Heh. So you noticed it too, my hundred knight. Oh, it's Leah. Is it okay that you're up? Your stomach still seems kind of achy. 
call me Metalia, but yeah, it feels a lot better. Anyway, I smell a witch, a corrupt foul witch. A witch, huh? <laughs> it could only be one of those dark witches. They lost their identity as a human and can only think like an insect. The despicable end of a witch's life. But doesn't that witch doctrine thing totally forbid taking any action against a dark witch? Hm, of course it does. Hundred Knight wouldn't be able to win. Anyway, even if you run into a dark witch, you need to keep your distance, okay? Hm? Uh, ouch! Ow, ow, ow! Cute. See, I told you not to overdo it, Leah. Lay on your side or something. M Metalia, damn it! Hurry up, Hundred Knight. Feel where the pillar is and go to it. If there really is a shaman out there, they'd live near the pillar. The shaman might even be the pillar's protector. Uh huh. Well, you had her. Let's keep searching, Honey Knight. Oh, and there's our dark witch. And how does she, how does she know I can't handle it? I'll take care of the dark witch. I'll destroy one if I have to. I don't care. I'm the hundred knight. You don't know me. You don't know what I'm capable of. Sorcerer's Canyon. Oh, come on. Oh, we're going to be dealing with these again. I hope not. I don't want to destroy more of these pillar things. I didn't like that in, in uh, the Duchess's place. It just felt kind of tedious. Hmm, there's a suspicious little hut. Think the shaman lives here? I am gonna have to destroy them, aren't I? That's probably how he's got the barrier up. Hang on a second, there's a barrier here. Ah, what a typical time waster. Forget about disabling it. Charge him with determination and break through. Bust it up, honey knight. Can I do that? I gotta disable it. That's annoying. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. You shattered it real good. That was a neat show to watch. Oh, is the barrier gone? Was that was it really that easy? Because if so, then that's perfectly I'm happy with that. Not much. Alright. Let's go see this shaman. The, the password. Silence. Y'all got it right. What? My name's Nahab. <laughs> Who might you be? It's a fish man. A really ugly one too at that. This is the shaman? You better make sure, but uh Honey Knight? I forgot you're a tough little mute. Oh, but we have that letter! Give it to him! The Hundred Knight hands over the letter requesting an antidote to Nahab. That's mighty considerate. I have been feeling a mite bit under the weather. <laughs> what the heck? Nahab uses the letter to blow his nose and then tosses the snot junk paper aside. Uh, that isn't what we planned. Leah's still asleep. What do we do? 
So, little one, what brings you into my humble abode? I reckon you were starving and lost, and you came here looking for food. Did I nail it? I don't got no food to offer, but instead I got my own favor to ask of you. There's a pillar atop this cliff. Well, that ain't too descriptive, but it's invisible and full of magic. Something protects that pillar. But I think it messed up something fierce and chose a little bug. It's been a mighty nuisance. Boy, howdy, it's mighty nasty to look at, if you ask me. You look like you can fight. So can you rough it up a bit, kill it, and I'll feed you till the cows come home. How's that sound? Since this is a business agreement, don't you dare haunt me if you end up dead. Huh, how convenient for this guy. Yeah, I mean, we were coming to do that regardless. If we get the pillar to bloom, Leah can pop in and talk to the guy about an antidote face to face. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's do this. What are you gonna do? Accept? Pass? Which will it be? You get to actually choose? Um, yeah, I guess I'll help. Oh, so you'll do it. I won't hold my breath, but I guess I'll be waiting I mean, here. What choice do I have? Anyway, I don't got no feed for stray piggies like you. Now get. All right. Oh, Jesus. Ooh, we got a bloody sword. Why did I buy one then? Oh, come on, I hit the dodge button. Whatever. Stupid. We got a bloody sword. I want to. I want to use that. Rather than this. I think I'm gonna end here, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. I hope you guys enjoyed. We met the supposed shaman, fishman thing. On the next part, uh, we continue up this place and hopefully break ourselves a pillar. See you then.